Hi there! In this video I will show you how to download today's astronomical picture of the day from the NASA API, download picture of the day from random date, set an image as a desktop wallpaper, create a batch script for easily changing the wallpaper in a single click, and set up a task in the Windows Task Scheduler to automatically change the wallpaper at specified interval. Let's get started! First, a few words of introduction. The Astronomical Picture of the Day is a service where a selected astronomical image from various NASA telescopes and astronomers around the world is presented every day starting from June 1995. NASA provides an API that allows us to fetch the picture of the day, a picture from a specific date, a list of pictures from a certain date range, and a list of random pictures. Using the API is completely free, you just need to provide your first name, last name and email to obtain an API key. In this video I will be using the demo key, which allows for 30 requests per hour and 50 requests per day. Let's jump to the code. Ok, so the first thing we need to do is to add the request module. Let's also define two variables, our API key and API URL. Now there is nothing stopping us from making a GET request to the NASA API to fetch data for today's image. Ok, let's see what do we fetch. Display data using response JSON and run script. We can see here the HD URL attribute that interests us. So let's go back to the code and save the URL into the variable. The next thing we need to do is define the path to which the image should be downloaded. We will use the path class from the pathlib module. We need to convert it to an absolute value to include the entire path. I also have to create an images folder, otherwise I would receive a no such file or directory error. Now we can proceed to download the image. I create another GET request where I put the URL of our image. The stream through parameter indicates that the downloaded data will not be stored in memory, but retrieved in chunks and passed to the request buffer. Using stream through might be crucial if you want to download large files. The downloaded data is often compressed and setting the code content equal true means that request library will automatically decode this data. The copy file object function from the sh shooting module copies the downloaded data to the open file in the location specified by me. Let's run the script and check the result. Ok, the script executed successfully and the new jpg file with today's image appeared in the images directory. The next step will be to set the image as the desktop background. For this purpose we will use the ctypes module which allows access to dynamic link libraries, specifically WinDLL in this case, which enables changing the desktop background. The system parameter infoW function has four parameters. The first parameter signifies the action we want to perform, each of which is assigned a specific number. For example, we can disable the screensaver or change mouse and keyboard settings. Setting the desktop background is indicated by number 20. The second parameter depends on the chosen action. Setting the desktop background doesn't require any additional parameter, so we use zero here. In the third parameter, we need to insert the path where the image that will be set as the desktop background is located. The fourth parameter signifies whether the changes should be saved after logging out. Setting it to zero means that after relogging we will have the previous wallpaper, whereas setting it to one will save wallpaper from script. Ok, now the script is ready and we can change the desktop wallpaper. But before running it let's take a quick look at the current wallpaper. Ok, let's run the script. And we can see that the wallpaper has changed. Alright, let's go back to the code and tidy it up by creating dedicated functions. The next task on my list is to fetch a random image from the API. To accomplish this, I will create a function called getRandomAPodURL. 
The API URL is slightly different in this case, as we need to include an additional parameter called count, specifying the number of images to retrieve. Since we only want to download a single image, I will set the count value to 1. As we will be retrieving a list of images, I will need to select the first element from this list, and then retrieve the HD URL from it. Ok, now let's check if the image downloads successfully and set it as a wallpaper. Let's switch to the desktop. Now we see that the wallpaper has changed successfully. I will also change the wallpaper fit style to fill, so that it covers the entire desktop. To simplify the choice between today's image and a random image, I will add the option to pass the argument to the script. The logic is as follows. If the argument is provided, it means that the random image should be fetched. If the argument is omitted, the script will download today's image. The value of provided argument doesn't matter. Let's test the script execution with the argument. It works. A random image has been downloaded. Now let's run the script without the argument. Great, now let's simplify the script execution by creating two batch files. One of them will run the script to download today's image and the other will download a random image. Next, I will create shortcuts for those batch files and add a cool NASA logo icon that I prepared earlier. I will copy the shortcuts to the desktop and change the icons. Now I will test the functionality of both files. First, let's set random wallpaper a few times and then I will switch back to today's image. I will keep the random image for now. Ok, now I have the last thing to do. I want to make the wallpaper change automatically at a specified interval without the need to click on a shortcut. To achieve this, I will use the Windows Task Scheduler. To open it, simply press Win plus R and type this command. Alternatively, you can search for it manually. Ok, after launching the task scheduler, I click on create task and enter a name. Then, navigate to the triggers tab. We have various options for triggering the task, such as starting it at system startup or on user login. In this case, I'm interested in running it on a schedule. I select the daily option and check the repeat task every checkbox. For the purpose of the video, I will set it to change every one minute to quickly see if it's working correctly. After that, let's navigate to the Actions tab and enter the name of the program to be executed in the Program Script field. In the Start In field, I'm providing the location of the program. And that's it. Let's save the task and wait for it to run the script. And it works. Let's check it one more time.
Great. If you'd like, you can hide the window of the script by checking the hidden checkbox and selecting the option Run whether the user is logged on or not. And that's all from me. In the video description, I have included a link to the GitHub repository with the program code, as well as links to the iPod website and NASA API. If you experience any issues with running the script or have any other suggestions, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.